Hello everyone, this is Ingo from the Honey CRM project and with this screencast I want to show you the current development snapshot of Honey CRM. So at first I want to go to the contacts module. I just click the contacts tab to open the module and on the left side of the page I see a table containing the first 10 items of the contacts that are currently in the system. Now I want to open an item. I just uh, look through the table and I uh, click the first row. Now I can look into the details of this particular contact and see how fast Tiny CRM can switch between the different contacts because it uses the local cache for those items. To start editing, just click on the name or the phone number or some text that has been entered or click on the edit button on the bottom of the page. But most of, most of the time it sh uh, should be faster just to click the text that you have already entered. This switches to the editing mode and allows you to enter the text that you want to add. In this case I entered some very strange text because I want to show you the full text search feature that allows you to search across all fields um, of all items in this module meaning that each module has a um, full text search across all items but there's also a global full text search across all fields of all modules. So you can of course search for name but you can also search for all other text fields like the phone number or the do not call explanation. So to show you I will open another contact like this and have a look at the contact and then I remember the arbitrary text that I've just entered and it will find the um, other contact. Going back to the other contact now because um, this contact has a lot of relations to other items. It relates to opportunities, memberships and one offering. And all these relationships will always be displayed right under the detail view of the item of the contact in this case. So to view this related item in more detail just click the open button. So this will automatically switch to the opportunities module and open the select item. To go back to the contact just click on its name. Same for memberships and so on. Okay, now let me show you the accounts module. The accounts module is currently empty. There are no accounts currently in the system. But let's assume you already have a, you are already using another CRM system which has some export functionality. Normally CRM systems provide uh, the opportunity to export data as CSV files at least and uh, this allows you to easily, easily exchange your data with other systems. So in the case of Honey CRM we implemented a CSV import for Sugar CRM. To import your accounts into um, Honey CRM just click the import button in the accounts module Insert the content of the exported CSV file and click on import. Now it parses and creates all the items and um, refreshes the table, the list view table, after it's done. So now you see the first 10 accounts of the 50 accounts that have been imported. And again, like in the context module, you can browse through the, these items, click them, and you can immediately also use the full text search. Now, I want to say some quick words. But I want to I want to mention at least the the administration panel. Uh, the administration panel we currently only use for um, for for trying things out which are interested interesting for developers. Um, for example, uh, the, the current cache information. Honey CRM heavily depends on the client side caching to 
speed up the navigation and browsing and in the administration panel you have the opportunity to have a look at the current cache statistics so um, here more than 50% of all the requests that are done by the user can be satisfied by uh, looking up in the cache and presenting the user a result um, stored in the local cache so only less than 50% um, have to actually um, be answered by the server. Then there's the dashboard module. In the dashboard module we currently are trying um, report features. For example, um, you see on the bottom of the page a report about um, the opportunities that are currently um, in the systems. So it um, looks um, across all the opportunities and it aggregates the volumes of the opportunities per year. Um, so this is just to show you um, then we, that we really can very easily create new reports and analyze the data that is already in the system and display it then on the dashboard. On the top of the page we did a similar thing. We um, let the system um, analyze its own um, speed. So um, we enabled profiling for uh, within Honey CRM so the application um, measured the time it took to execute some uh, very important service calls like um, update, get, get all and it not only measured the, the execution time but also the number of calls and then we um, decided to plot this information again. This is mostly um, interesting for developers who want to improve the performance on Funny CRM and see where are the hotspots of the application but um, this is again just to show you how flexible we are in, um, in ad adding more features, adding kind of uh, complex features like this um, profiling, which is very interesting for developers. And last but not least, there's the forecasting widget. Um, here's the idea that you um, have a lot of information in your uh, system about the uh, revenue and the expenses, for example, and you um, want to plot this um, per week across one year, for example, and additionally, you you have uh, the, this is this revenue information for one particular item, like one particular product, and um, the system tells you this information. It plots it into one diagram, and it also allows you to um, to change some factor that um, also changes the, um, the 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 situation for you. So you have the opportunity to simulate a situation. That you have uh, that, that that you have measured in your system. In this case, um, you see the revenue um, caused by one of the um, products that you sold, and you see that the revenue increases, but it's it's um, not that high. So we want to simulate um, how the how this year would have been like if we had increased the price by 50%, for example. So um, then Honey CRM prints another, um, yeah, another diagram, it, it, it prints new graphs showing uh, the, um, how the revenue had looked like if you had increased the price for this particular product by 50%. Now um, this is again just an example to show you what we can do. We need a lot of user input and uh, we need examples um, of the scenarios that you want to simulate but um, with this um, widget, we just want to show you that we can do it and, and, and what's possible, basically. Okay, um, now I've shown you everything that I wanted to show you with the screencast. Please use the feedback um, module to um, tell us about your thoughts and your wishes um, about Honey CRM. And I'm looking, to f looking very, f very much forward for your feedback. Thank you very much for watching this screencast.